All right, you lot, just in time for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? But actually, not today. You are going to need eggs, ham, cheese, tongs, pork, bowl, grater, a knife, two Ziploc freezer bags, and last but not least, a kettle. Honestly, going to be the easiest thing you have ever made. First off, eggs into the bowl. If you can boil the kettle, you can make this dish. Keep eating till your egg mix looks like that. Then into that, we're going to put some cheese. You could put strong if you wanted to, put mild. Doesn't really matter. You could put mozzarella if you like. Omelette is a family favourite in my house. You can put anything in cheese and ham like this one. But if you've got some tomatoes left over, a bit of mushroom, I don't know, whatever's hanging around in the fridge, you can mix it up. Quick, simple, really versatile. Into the egg mix. Then get yourself some ham. Two slices and then slice to little strips. Drop that into the egg mix. Give it one last mix. We're going to put half of the mix in each freezer bag. This is probably the easiest way ever to cook an omelette. Get as much air out as possible and then seal the bag. Because once you've got them like that, you're going to put them into the kettle. So gently drop them in. Make sure your kettle is at least three quarters full so that they're into the water. But have the bag so it sits over the side. Put the lid on. Press go. That's it, the kettle's boiled. But your omelette is not cooked yet. You have to now wait eight minutes. This is the hardest bit, having to wait for it. There we are, eight minutes. Oh, I mean, it's at zero. Why has it not gone off? That's it. But is it? No. Turn it on one more time, then we'll be done. Don't worry, you haven't got to wait another eight minutes. We're done. Look at that. It's an omelette and it's delicious, I promise you. I'm a big fan of the spicy sriracha sauce. Doing it in a zigzag, make it look like a pro. And that's it. We're ready to go. Perfectly cooked. Kettle on it. Bet you didn't think that was going to work, did you? But look, it did. Why don't you show me how you got along using the hashtag full time meals and visit the page where there's loads more recipes.